soul is finally here. Um, Merry Christmas to me. So if you've been uh, following me on this channel for a while now, you should uh, probably know that um, soul is something that uh, I've definitely been looking forward to, to say the least. Both for uh, Oscar reasons, which I talk about a lot, and also just um, personal reasons. It was definitely one of my most anticipated movies pre-pandemic, and then definitely one of my most anticipated... I was going to say post-pandemic, but... That's not really true. But uh, Soul's uh, finally here. It arrived on Disney Plus Christmas Day. And I watched it. And I loved it. I don't really know what people were expecting. Like, to me, I expected top-tier Pixar. And to me, that's exactly what I got. It's another great addition to Pixar's already impressive lineup. I mean, Soul was really just like a beautiful, moving story that has really stayed with me since uh, I watched it. So I've watched it twice now. Uh, I watched it uh, once alone on Christmas at night, like before I went to sleep. And then I watched it again the day after uh, with my mom. And even my mom was like, you know, I think like everyone, even adults should like take something away from this movie. And my mom doesn't say that a lot. And I think the best part about this movie is it makes you take a look at yourself and it makes you self-reflect and a lot of great movies do that. And and this one is, is no exception. If you don't take a second and think about your own life when you watch this, you might be more dead than I am. Because I know I did that for sure. And no, no spoilers, obviously. But um, there is a scene with the piano. And if you've seen the movie, you already know what I'm talking about. It was like one of the most moving things I've, I've seen this year, definitely. And... I don't know, it, it's not even, this is, my mind is fucking all over the place right now, sorry. It's not even, like, a sad scene, right? So, for instance, you know, Pixar, there's a lot of movies that are there to make you cry, right? And I, to me, I don't care. If it works, it works. But, like, you know, Inside Out, there's sad scenes. Toy Story 3, there's sad scenes. Up, there's sad, you know? This one, I can't even say is a sad scene, but it was, like, so, like, moving, and like so freaking beautiful like in the score <sighs> bruh don't even get me started on that fucking score but it i don't know it just worked this is not a flex i've said this before already but you know if I, i'm not one to cry during movies um i don't know what it is like i think part of me is like so cynical that if i'm about to cry like my mind just immediately goes to it's a movie it's not real this is all fake. Even if it's based on a true story, it's just like, yeah, this is a movie. This is a depiction of it. So that's not a flex, okay? I, I'm not trying not to cry. But when I watched that, I my eyes just started to water. And I didn't cry just because I consider crying when the tear actually falls. I didn't do that. But yeah, it, it really moved me. And I was like tearing up. What can I say? Tearing up. I'm such a pussy. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But on the real... um. I just think it's it's like truly amazing how a you know a kids movie and you can debate that but it's a Pixar so it's definitely aimed at least for families how a movie like this can tackle these kind of issues without kind of holding back and you know you see a lot of kids movies where it's like it's just fucking trash it's so shitty and then everyone's like guys it's just a kids movie like relax it's whatever but Pixar like doesn't do that it doesn't treat kids like these dumb little humans even though sometimes they are it it just tells the message and that's why pixar resonates with so many people so i don't know i just think it's it's really cool i think kids will enjoy this definitely um but i gotta be honest i think adults will enjoy this more i mean this is cinema and i feel like based on the trailers and just like the synopsis of the movie you probably think you know where this is going no i don't think you do i don't think you do um maybe maybe but i don't know this took it like not I don't want to say a turn but when it really went for the message of the movie it kind of caught me off guard and that was great and Pete Doctor who uh, directed this um, is also responsible he directed Monsters Inc up and Inside Out so yeah motherfucker is four for four as far as I'm concerned all of these movies to me are top tier Pixar and I think if you just took a survey around the world I think those four movies would definitely be in the upper echelon of Pixar. 
And I don't know, maybe if people ask me for my favorite directors, maybe I got to start saying Pete Doctor because he hasn't made a bad one. I don't know, I just, I just want to like hug this movie, you know? Does that make sense? I just want to hug it and not let go. And yes, obviously the animation is amazing. Pixar just continues to, what, like, what the, f there's some scenes like in New York, right? Where I literally thought they just like took like a video or like a picture of like real life and just animated over. Like, it's crazy that it's all just animated. I don't know. And the voice acting is good. Jamie Foxx is really good in particular. Um, and there's a hilarious New York Knicks joke in there. And as a basketball super fan like myself, I really appreciated that little jab in there. Go Suns, Devin Booker is my dad. And I gotta say, uh, so I, I obviously loved it um, after the first watch. It got even better on the second watch to me. Um, for the people that think it's like okay, they mostly point to like the first half of the movie. And I can I can see how that is. And you know, I hate saying this, but give another shot, rewatch it. I think it works much better the second time. I mean, you know, when everything was shutting down, um, gotta admit, selfishly, I, I was like, I, I really don't want soul to to move. I really want soul this year. And I'm glad that in this shitty year of 2020, Soul was able to come out and uh, hopefully it can brighten your day because uh, I know it brightened mine. I'm going to give Soul four and a half stars for now, maybe maybe five as it continues to sit with me, but four and a half now. Well, in terms of its Oscar chances, um, you know, we'll, we'll have to see. If you're a subscriber of mine, you know that I'm dying on the Soul Hill. Um, this is where I planted my flag, so I got to be strong there. I might do a video just solely on, maybe not solely, but incorporating soul with another Oscar talk video. I'll have to see about that. But um, yeah, I, that's really going to be it, guys. I Go watch soul on Disney+. Plus. It's amazing. I hope, I hope you love it as much as I did. So I guess that'll be it. Don't know what the next video is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be on Wonder Woman. I don't know if I have the, the strength for that. Um... But um, yeah, follow me on Letterboxd, whatever, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Please take care, stay safe. Bye.